Hero is a fork of VS Code, just like Cursor and Windsurf. And VS Code is notorious for adding engineering overhead just to keep the fork up to date with Microsoft's releases. Other AI code editors like Klein and Rue are VS Code extensions by nature. And we also have tools like Ader, Cloud Code, and Codex CLI that lives directly in your terminal. And some are web-based code editors like V0, Lovable, and Bolt, as well as cloud-based engineering tools like Codex. And given this landscape of AI code editors, Kiro fits in the category of native app and Amazon is well equipped to handle the engineering overhead that comes with forking VS Code. So my first question after trying out Kiro was why? Why did Amazon release Kiro even though it only has basic features and especially when they're somewhat late to the party? The biggest difference I see is a feature that Kiro calls spec. Spec is Kiro's opinion on how your prompt should be interpreted into structured components. For example, when you send your prompt to Kiro, it will split them into three major markdown files, requirements, design, and tasks. And Kiro will work with you to build this out before acting on them. And if you're used to other tools like Klein and Cloud Code, coding agents typically take the driver's seat on the coding part. But with spec, Kiro is a bit more greedy in how it wants to translate your business requirements into a formalized document that it knows how to work on. And this design choice made by Kiro is somewhat opinionated compared to other tools, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but anytime you make an opinionated stance on how things should be done, it adds a bit of a learning curve and a point of contention for users. Another feature worth mentioning is steering. Steering is essentially a repository of documents that describe your project. For example, you can describe what your project is about, the tech stack you used, and how the code base is structured in the steering documents. And while this feature in itself is not groundbreaking at all, it's still interesting how Kiro is calling this feature steering when other AI code editors typically call them rules. Another feature worth mentioning is what Kiro calls hooks. Hooks are akin to webhooks in API, where an event within your IDE will trigger a certain workflow. For for example, when you create a new file in Kiro, Kiro can trigger a predefined workflow such as updating a readme file automatically by using hooks. And based on these major features of Kiro, we can infer how Kiro wants to establish itself in the industry. While some other tools like Ader and Klein can be treated more transactionally, where you view them as a task completion tool, Kiro wants to have a bigger scope in the software development lifecycle and be more vertically integrated. And the next question is this, beyond the peripheral features like spec, steering, and hooks, how good is Kiro as a coding agent. Because while these features make the coding experience more enjoyable, what truly matters is the underlying agentic mechanism of the AI code editors. For example, I explained in my other video how Klein recursively make tool calls to load relevant files into the context so that it can generate a good response that Klein is delivering. And because Klein is open source, we can see exactly how the coding agent works behind the scenes. And for Kiro, because Kiro is proprietary software, we have minimal visibility in how Kiro handles token usage context management, and product latency. So anytime Kiro is running slow, it's really hard to tell whether the context is bloated or maybe the system prompt is not engineered well, or maybe it's just the API connection to LLM providers is slow. And I'm certainly not advocating that all AI code editors need to be open source like Ader, Klein, and Codex, because honestly, if the coding agent works seamlessly, I'm much less inclined to know how the sausage is being made. So until Kiro can establish that trust by writing some solid code, it's going to face some friction in product adoption, especially after pricing will be announced by Amazon for Kiro soon. So what does the release of Kiro tell us about the industry? Although Kiro's release is seemingly late, every new release made from major companies like Amazon is an indicator that AI code editor industry is still lucrative and competitive. Typically, we see primary market in the industry get the most amount of funding so that these companies can innovate the state-of-the-art models that we use today. But now we're seeing the secondary market gaining more capital as the industry widens its focus on encapsulating the state-of-the-art model into an agent to solve domain-specific problems. So the release of Kiro signals that we still have a lot of runway in the industry. And there certainly is enough pie to go around given the size of the market and all the different mediums that the coding agents can be delivered into terminals, cloud, on-prem, and extensions. And Kiro is yet to prove itself in how it stands in this competitive space. And we'll see based on their opinion and approach in how AI should be integrated to coding will actually end up establishing them in the industry.